Thank you so much for uh, having me and letting me uh, be with you today. And uh, you students probably know more from this class about the politics in Georgia of the 20th century than I do. Uh, it's been a long time since I studied Georgia history, uh, the first 60 years of the century. I've read about the governors, Talmadge, Russell, Griffin, Senator Walter George, and Governor Rivers. Zell did his master's thesis on Governor Ed Rivers, so I know some about that period because I typed the thesis. <laughs> so let's look today at my story of being a political wife and a working one during the last 40 years of the century as it was lived by my husband. Our family was young when Zell first ran for the state senate in 1959. Murphy was four and Matt was three. We were home, Zell teaching at Young Harris College after living from 1954 at Camp Lejeune where he was in the Marine Corps and then at the University of Georgia where he was a student. His first race was under the county unit system rotating Senate seats by county. You may know how it worked, and statewide for all offices. If not, Governor Deal can explain it to you, certainly better than I can. Anyway, it was Towns County's time to have a senator. The rotating district was Rayburn County, Towns County, and Union County. The president of Young Harris College liked politics, and so he agreed to let Zell run and keep his job. He would be gone winter quarter to the legislature and teach a full load during summer school. Now, uh, before the um, second term, the county unit system was abolished. And now it was the 50th district with several counties, and he won again. A plus I brought to campaigning was that my folks were very active in Cherokee County, North Carolina, local politics my growing up years. Zell knew the county and the people. He had played baseball with the town teams of Young Harris and Hiawassee. His mom was well known and loved, active in many things, the first woman to ever serve on a jury in Towns County. I knew how to work a voters list, a plus for a yes vote, a minus for one that we knew was a no, and a question mark for the unknown, and those were the ones we were working for. So he won, and his career in politics began, and he served two terms in the state senate. What a time it was. I happened to be in Atlanta with our son Matt for a surgery. I listened at the nurse's station on the radio to Governor Vandiver deliver a speech to a joint session of the General Assembly at night to announce that UGA would not be closed, it would be integrated. A question that has been with me ever since is this, did that night begin modern Georgia? Think of what was happening in Alabama and in Arkansas. Zell was in a small group consumed with keeping the schools open. Another story of that state Senate time, I recall being in a motel room with our Towns County representative, John Acree's wife, Sarah, waiting for our husbands to get home. They roomed together in a two-bedroom apartment during the session. 
We heard a noise and watched from the fourth or the fifth floor a cross burn across the street where Peachtree and West Peachtree converge in front of Leb's restaurant, which had been integrating. It was shocking to both of us. Zell's state senate work those four years had an education policy focus, and this focus was there from then on the rest of his political career. Zell ran for Congress in 1964. President LBJ came to Georgia, Gainesville, and endorsed his opponent, Phil Landry. We lost. 